Hi all, it's Ali here. Oh, I'm managing to make a video at last. I've been pretty poorly actually with a virus, so that's why I haven't been on. My, my apologies for that. Um, just to say that during my illness, I've been watching a lot of drama and void. Um, God only knows why, because these are hours of my life that I can't get back. <laughs> and I have to say that anybody who goes into the side chats, as I do, um, must be barking mad. I've got an issue though. People, I am very naive. I don't actually understand about doxing, although I'm beginning to learn about it. And I'm not very clued in when people say that they can, they will find out who's doing what to whom. Um, the other thing is that if people are talking about people that lie, and that are doing things to other people, like, say, threatening Diane, or how do I know that's true just because they're saying it? Just the same as how do I know what's real from the people that are supposedly doing this? Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe that's not quite clear. But what I'm saying is, for instance, I was watching Vinny G's chat. I was in the side chat and it was a bit of a shit show and it was only yesterday. Um, I like Vinny G's chats. I like the people in there. I think they're very colourful characters and I really enjoy being in there. However, Vinny G has got a beef with a lady in Canada and also... This other chap, Angelo, seems to have stirred up a load of stuff. Now, this is fine, but Vinny speaks in a very cryptic manner and says that he can't share things with some people. And I understand that. But it's no good expecting your viewers to really understand or even sometimes believe that it's not a bit of, I don't know, showmanship or something, which I'm sure it isn't, but it's hard to take people seriously when you haven't got the facts laid out in front of you, but you're expected to take a side. I'm not taking sides in anything. I love going in the side chats and I love saying hi to everybody and I really take people, human beings, if, that, if they say they are a lawyer, a doctor, a rocket scientist, whatever, I will just take them for what they say. If I find out they're lying, well, hell, they're lying. It's YouTube. It's the internet. It's their prerogative to do such a thing. And to be honest with you, I actually don't give a shit. It is entertaining, but it's not entertaining when you're the one where it's aimed at. <sighs> I hope I'm explaining this properly. My issue is that whenever you're, whenever you're a drama channel and you want people in the side chat to understand what you're saying, you have to be cryptic. Uh, you, sorry, you have to be non-cryptic. You have to explain things clearly in a line of organisation so that we get it. And this just doesn't happen. And again, on Vinny's chat yesterday, he had a chap on. I believe his name was Mojo, but I could be wrong. So please forgive me if that's wrong. He shouted over everybody. And then he just kept saying, oh, but you know what? I'm only trolling. I'm only trolling. You know, I'm only having a laugh. Well, anyone could say that. You could say, I could say something on here, for instance, and then say to you, oh, I'm only, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But... How do we know? Because we don't see people face to face and because things are written in a side chat, it's a bit like when you send a text. It's really, really difficult to know exactly whether the person is taking the piss or whether they really mean it or whether they're just fooling around, whatever. You know, you just don't know, do you? It's, this is a, a, a platform where people have got come from all different walks of life they're so so interesting some people are you know and of course a lot of people that are watching are watching because they have time on their hands they're retired 
maybe they do have mental health issues. Maybe they are, you know, off sick. Um, I enjoy the drama channel, but I don't enjoy people talking over people because for me, I can't understand the conversation then. And all you're hearing is they repeat themselves. This guy yesterday just kept repeating the same crap over and over. And the people up on the who were on that panel couldn't talk. They just couldn't. They were just shouted over. You couldn't hear their point of view particularly. And it was just ridiculous. And it, this is not, Vinny's chat isn't the only one this happens on. It happens on other chats that I've watched um, where people just scream over. So please, for the naive people like myself and for those people that are not computer savvy and can't get into other people's information and actually wouldn't give a shit to, make your conversation clear. Otherwise, what is the point? I mean, it just makes people stop watching because they think, oh, do you know what? It's just going to be a shit show every time. Um, I've been watching Diane's channel today and she lays it out so clearly. And that's what I like. And that's what I like about Shoot the Shit as well. Because when they're saying things, they lay it out clearly, but they make it fun. And it's if you're going to have a drama channel, please make it enjoyable. And shut people up if they speak over people because it makes no sense to the listeners. I hope I've made myself clear. And, you know, I'm sure with my tiny little channel down here, no one will give a brass resume what I say. But I just wanted to air myself without, um, you know, with because I haven't had a, a chance to say what how I feel. And I don't normally, I mean, people just ignore me in the side chats. I'm just not relevant enough. And do I want to be relevant enough? I don't know. But I'm just saying, please lay what you've got to say out. If you've got to be with someone, I get that. I get that. I, I like, do you know, I haven't got anyone I dislike particularly. I think everyone brings something to the pot. Anyway, thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.